In today's video, I'm going to take you to a different Caribbean island. This one, located just 105 miles from St. Martin, is British and is known for having as many beaches as there are days in a year. And the adventure starts right here in this family-owned hotel. Hey, what's up? So you'll never guess where I am today. I'm in beautiful Antigua. I was so excited to go explore this island. I have not. The last time I've been here was really, are you ready for this? 14 years ago. That is the last time I've been, I set foot in Antigua. And so you can only imagine my excitement. I'm here because I was invited by Traverse Events, who together with the Antigua and Bermuda Tourism Office has planned this complete week for us. It's I'm saying us because it's myself, along with about 40 other creators. And we're all going to be doing our thing here in Antigua. And what I love about this particular media trip which, by the way, I haven't been on a media trip in quite a while as well, so I was a little nervous in the beginning. Um, but this particular media trip is quite special because they have left the itinerary completely up to us. So we got a few options per day what we wanted to do, and then we choose one or whatever we could out of that, and the rest will be planned for us. So I've been placed at the Ocean Inn in English Harbor, and I think it goes brilliantly with the Traveling Island Girl brand because, as you know, I'm always pro local business and this particular hotel is owned by a local family and it's family run I met the son of the owner last night when I came in um, so I'm excited to show you the hotel as well but what I love about this place is from what I gathered because I haven't been outside of my cottage yet uh, from what I gathered is that it is super well known for its beautiful view and its location it's located in English Harbor which makes it within walking distance from quite some cool places so today I am not going to yet reveal what I'm going to do for today, which activity I picked, but I do have the morning. So I'm about to head out to breakfast, which is included here at the Ocean Inn, take in some of that view and then go for a stroll because I think I need to find a pharmacy because I forgot a couple of things at home. I know the stress of packing. Anyway, so the best news of all, you get to tag along. Come on, let's go. Hi, my name is Robert Potter, manager slash director here at the Ocean Inn in Antigua. What makes Ocean Inn idyllic is first and foremost its location. I've had several guests that have given me stories that they have been down into the harbour and it's so busy and the hustle and bustle and a simple walk up the hill, they feel like they're in a different place. So location definitely. And of course, when I say location, the view also is also uh, reasons people stay here. And of course, the home away from home environment is also a plus. Ocean Inn has been in operation, and this is just a guesstimate because my father was the one who started the business. Um, actually, the property is where my siblings and I grew up. This was the family home. And after my parents separated, um, my dad alone was left in a six bedroom house. And one night a guy came and asked him if he had a room for rent and the light bulb went on. And it's now what it is. It's a uh, 11 bedroom, small boutique hotel sitting on the side of a hill. activity of this traverse event is at the rum academy so what we're doing is we're gonna actually learn how to like mix or make the rum i'm not quite sure we're gonna create our very own unique bottle of rum today uh depending on what flavors you guys put in there and what percentage you guys want on 
It looks quite like a laboratory here. Look at this. And this is my station. Look at that. And then this girl right here is going to do it with me. So I'm all excited. I was like, all of the Caribbean content creators are like, there's rum. Yes, please. So guys, our course today, what we're going to do, we're going to start off with some tasters. We're going to try all of our rums that we make here in-house. What's gonna happen now is like my label with my name is gonna now go on top of here. Now the big challenge guys is putting this label up straight after all of that rum that we've had. So wish me luck. George, I will be your captain today. Um, on board, we do have lots of drinks, water, juice, beer, sodas, and we do have some rum punch. So we are going to head this way and go on an adventure. stop with Coco Vibes today is Burns Point Beaches and it's two beaches that are connected uh, and there's a little rock formation that comes out in the middle it is absolutely breathtaking beautiful beautiful beach pretty much nobody on it but us Captain George here, um, Coco Vibes, we came about um, about eight years ago, uh, me and my wife, we met under a coconut tree, um, I used to sell fresh coconut water on the coconut grove and she likes coconut so she bought a coconut, um, we decided to call the company Coco Vibes, um, ever since we've been just vibes in, this is why it's called Coco Vibes, alright well when you book this store you will learn a lot about the history of Antigua, the history in general of um, colonialism. Um, also, you will be learning a lot about the reefs in terms of being safe out there in the reef and also protecting the reef as you snorkel. All right, when you come on this boat, you will be greeted with a lot of um, fresh fruits. We do have a lot of juice, water, sodas, and rum punch. That is Captain George Pirate Punch. Argh, Have a drink, man. Come on out, enjoy the ambience. 
enjoy the sun, protect yourself from the sun with sunscreen. We always encourage everyone to use re friendly sunscreen. We take you snorkeling along the path. Um, it's an unbeaten path, so we take you different places around Antigua, shipwrecks. Where we have a total of 129 recorded shipwrecks. The Andes shipwreck is one of the more famous ones. We like to take guests to snorkel because they get to learn the history of that Andes sailing from Trinidad going towards Chile. So we're at the second stop on our tour with Coco Vibes and now we are at this other very remote spot. There's literally not a lot of, that's not anybody else here. And it's just us right there on the boat. And this is St. George's Port. And just ahead of me is a, um, a natural little pool area that's supposed to be really cool. So that's where I'm heading now. I just have to share this moment with you guys because it is so absolutely stunning, mind-blowingly beautiful. I can't believe that I'm actually here. And considering that I was actually thinking of not visiting Antigua again because my previous visit was not that uh, memorable. <laughs> but it's just somebody pinched me because this place is just so beautiful and I'm sure I'm not even beginning to capture this on camera. I am just almost tearing up because it's just so, so beautiful. This looks to be the uh, natural saltwater pool that the captain is talking about. And I think that one over there is probably where it gets a little deeper. Right now I'm at ankle deep almost, or more than ankle deep. And it's just me because the others have decided to stay on board. So I got all of this beauty all to myself. I mean, now how lucky am I? This is 30 feet of water and you can still stand on the front of this shipwreck just to show you how tall this boat is. Wow. That is the front. This is how you know it's a Spanish galleon. You see the long pointy mount. Yes, if you want, we drop anchor and you guys can mosey on it. If you want to do that now, you can. Welcome, my name is Connie and I'm at the Rainforest, Antigua Rainforest Canopy Zipline Tours. And here we offer 13 zip lines and a nine element obstacle course where you walk on cables, wobbly bridges and steps. We take care of all the safety measurements, which is very important. We have a double line system, double safety procedure. And you just sit back, enjoy, zipping through the trees.
We have dumplings. We have salt fish. We have choppy, which is spinach. This fungi, which yes. is some people call um, kuku. This one is wrapped in foil, or some persons do it in fig leaf or banana leaf, uh, like the sea grape leaf. Yes, yes, yes. And of course, some plantain on the side. Nice. After zip lining and a fabulous local lunch, it was time to let our hair down and party on a sunset cruise with Tropical Adventures. We are in Antigua and Barbuda. We're chilling. here in Antigua. A friend of mine, Kirsty, and I, another content creator from the UK, we've decided to hire Dulce to take us around Antigua and show us some of the parts that we didn't get a chance to see. And this is what all we saw today. And for our very last night together, Traverse Events and the Antigua and Barbuda Tourism Authority organized this fabulous party for us. It involved a small boat, a tiny island called Prickly Pier, and a lot, a lot of dancing. thinking of visiting Antigua and Barbuda, this is what you need to know. The official currency is the EC dollar, but the US dollar is accepted everywhere, and in some places they will even take Canadian. The driving here is on the left, so keep that in mind. Best time to visit will be between October to the end of March, because those are the cooler months, but for those of you who are on a budget, I have great news. The best time for you to visit will then be during the summer months, but remember, this is also the hurricane season. The Carnival of Antigua takes place at the end of July, and for another must-visit event, Sailing Week takes place around Easter. Antigua also has one of the largest barrier reefs in the Caribbean by the name of Cates Reef. Now this is great news for those of you who like snorkeling and diving. It is two miles long and of course it's a protected area. I had a fabulous time in Antigua, getting to know the island, its food, the culture, the people. And it goes to show that it's always a great idea to give something another try. My second time around here was nothing but spectacular. I made many new friends, got to know the culture of Antigua, and I guess it's safe to say that I'm hooked. I cannot wait to come back here. Who's with me? But above all else, what will forever stay with me are the friendly people of Antigua and Barbuda. Welcome to Antigua. Welcome to Antigua. This is Darkwood Beach. Welcome to Antigua. Welcome to Antigua. Coco vibes. <laughs> this is Tropical Adventures. Welcome to Antigua. Welcome to Antigua. 